All right, Shalom, I'm Akim. First and foremost, I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah, by Hashem Rakaiko Dash. I'd like to give double honors to the Apostle Elders of Great Millstone. I'd like to say Shalom to the elect that teach the word in all true faith and sincerity. And yeah, today I just want to get into a lesson on pretty much, um, as you can see, the wound of America is getting worse, man. You know, this further proves that uh, she cannot be healed. Matter of fact, let's get that. Let's start out with that real quick before we get into this article. So like, yeah. let's, let's, let's go and get that before we get into this article. Um, Jeremiah. Chapter 51. In uh, verse 8, it says, Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her? Take bone for her pain. If so, be she may be healed. See that bomb was talking about this medicine for her pain. And was that was to see America's being tortured. You know, it's being destroyed inside out, man. See, you know, the body of this place is it, it got a disease. You know, it's at is 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 dis ease, man. You know, that's why you got civil unrest, man. You know, the economy is jacked up. You know, everything about this place is is, is gone to shit, man. You know, that's why the scripture said, though, and this world passes away and the lust thereof, because even, you know, this supposed to be so called college football season. This is when, you know, you're going to break the ice with your co worker on Monday morning, talking about the game or whatever. That, see, that time is over with now, man. Ain't no such thing as breaking the ice by talking about a game no more. You know, we're in very intense times, man. You know, and, the, and these people know that. But it's saying that she she um take home for her pain. It's so be she may be healed. It said we would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. <coughs> it's like it said we would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. See, see that the Lord has smitten this place with a deadly wound, man. This time she ain't bouncing back from this, man. You know, she ain't bouncing back. You know, you said you see this this um you see this um this civil unrest. You know, the economy has gone to shits. You know, people ain't taking the so-called leaders, the face of this, the, the, the leaders, you know, your your president candidate, your presidential candidates, they ain't taking them serious, man. You know, she is not here. This, this is utterly being broken down, man. He said, forsake her. Let us go, everyone, into his own country. For her judgment reach unto heaven it is, and is lifted up even to the skies. See? And, and how we see is that this is a uh, wound because it's two sides of the house now, man. Everybody's not united on a, under this under the banner of America, man. Even though we're not in America, but you just see these Americans. It's Americans against Americans. These Egyptians against the Egyptians, man. You know. So let's get this article, and it reads on the edge. See. And it lets you know when you, it's something that's on the edge, meaning, you know, you on the edge of your seat, something intense finna go down, man. You know, it says America on the brink of civil war, and that word civil war has been been used this year. You know, uh, I mean, down there at the same time as you know the same word is mandatory, man. You 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 hear the word vaccine. You know, uh, uh, mandatory civil war. All of these words has been been more more frequently used when it comes down to this this news, man. You know, when it comes down to the status of America, one of those words is civil war, man. You know, it says America is on the brink of civil war, as half of the country expect. See, they expecting violence over election day fraud. See. And they already got the narrative set to where if Trump lose, they already set it up to where um, they got different ballots. They was ripped up and, you know, these different Trump, because it was a lot of people that voted early for Trump. And um, they ripped a lot of that up, man. You know, so it, it did, you know, it was already, it was plenty of articles where they say Trump is going to refuse to lose. And, and uh, the ones that support him. You know, they're going to refuse to lose as well, man. You know, and that's where that, all that hell is going to come. Because we already know, they already got the narrative set. Something going to happen on election day. 
Somebody got to win. Somebody got to lose. You know? And the one who lose, they ain't going to take it too kindly, man. You know? So it's a half of Americans expect to see an increase in violence as a result of the presidential election a new poll has found. The study raises the specter of a second civil war in the United States amid warnings. Extremists are more willing to resort to violence. See? And it says, uh, look at the caption of this picture right here. It says, Trump supporters and their opponents square off in Salt Lake City. See, you got to see how they send it up. It's not like a boxing match, man. But that's pretty much what it is, man. The Lord has divided this house, man. That's just like a cut. Your flesh is divided now, man. You know? And that's what you see, man. You know, America is, is once again been smitten with a wound. But this time, you know, these, these devils not going to bounce back. You know, these devils not going to bounce back, man. It says, uh, continue on, let's see. Let me jump down. Yeah, this, let me jump. Well, let's see. All right, it said, the YouGov poll troubling findings. Some amid political turmoil in the United States in the wake of the Black Lives Matter protests following the death of George Floyd in May. They have been joined with the hard left Antifa group who have burned American flags and battled with cops. See? So that's in your opponent in the left corner. You got Antifa. You got uh, so-called Black Lives Matter. You know, that's the far left, man. You know, it said the protests have often descended into violence and have seen far-right organizations such as the Proud Boys Stage counter demonstrations in places such as Portland, Oregon, and Canosa. So in your right corner, you know, the far right, the the Proud Boys, pretty much the Trump supporters, man. You know? And, and hey, they ain't Proud Boys for that. And, and, you know, they ain't the Proud Boys for that, man. That's Esau Edom, man. You know, even though it's, it's some that um, it's a lot of jakes, they, they, they get perceived to be Edomites. You know, especially down here in, uh, like, the Bible Belt area, you know. But regardless, guess what? It's a, it's a, um, it's tension in the air, man. These Americans are not, um, are not united, man. They're divided. Matter of fact, let's go and get that. Isaiah. Isaiah 19. Isaiah the 19th chapter and verse 2. It says... And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians. See? And they shall fight everyone against his brother and everyone against his neighbor, city against city, and kingdom against kingdom. See? And they let you know it's not just going to be nothing but race wars. Because it said brother against brother. It's going to be Esau against Esau. You know? It's going to be neighbor against neighbor. It's going to be different class wars, man. You know? So it's going to be war on all levels, man. And one of those wars is going to be a major civil war, man. You know? I think um, it was one of those articles they said about the, through Trump being in office, this nigga is the one that divided, you know, the country, man. Was that we, we fought Trump, man. Because, you know, this nigga going to be the one that uh, bring America to uh, World War Three, man. You know? Through the spirit, man. This... You know, he's the embodiment of pride. And like we, we just read, uh, you're going to read into the article that Trump, he's going to refuse to lose, man. You know, they already got this narrative to say, well, this nigga, you know, let's just say he do lose. Well, he's not going to take that on the chin. And, and the ones on the far right is not either, man. You know? So let's let's go back to the article. It says, um... Fears have been raised that this already smoldering conflict could explode into full-scale violence. See, should Donald Trump refuse to accept the result of the November 3rd poll and his supporters and their opponents take to the streets? See, so they already got in their mind, you know, something going to happen, man. Because even on the other side, uh, if, if, if Trump win or he stay in office, you know, you're going to have... The far left do the same thing, man. They're going to refuse to lose. You know? They're going to refuse to lose, man. But it just further proves, you know, 
when you further diagnose America, that this she's out of here, man. She's out of here, man. You know. Matter of fact, let's get that in on. Um, in Matthew, St. Matthew 12, St. Matthew 12 and 25, it said, And Yahweh shall knew their thoughts and said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation. And every city or house divided, divided against itself shall not stand. See? And this shows you the balance of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, man. Because, um, what you see now, on, um, by the so-called white man, he's been broken down and, and splitting up, man. You know, he 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 he's divided, man. I mean, well, that's an open wound that this man has. But on the other side, on the right hand side, you see Israel coming. It said it would have said the bones coming together. You got the northern and the southern kingdom coming together, man. So guess what? Is now is our time, you know, to be built up and be this strong house. And it's time for Esau to be broken down, man. And that's what you see, man. You know, America's being uh, torn up from the inside out, man. You know? Though I said, take bomb for her pain. Meaning what? This bitch is hurting on the inside, man. You know, like I said, by the civil unrest. You know, the economy is jacked up. You know, no one is taking, you know, these so-called leaders serious no more. You know, um, just uh, it was a few days ago. That um they try to kidnap the the governor of Michigan and all that man. So this house is not standing. The very pillars of America that upheld this place is it, being taken away now, man. You know, and it said if Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. How shall then his kingdom stand? See, so America's not gonna stand. You know, we actually in the midst of Esau falling, man. You know. And it just this article further proves that. All right, let's see. Um, it said the YouGov poll shows that many Americans share the fears of violence, with 56 percent saying they expect to see an increase in violence as a result of the election. See, and then um, you look at these different um approval rates with these different countries dealing with the U.S. and they and they significantly drop, man. It's major numbers, you know, that um they they pretty much these different allies, they see they smell blood, man, you know, and and and, and it you know um this just further proves that scriptures are alive and well, man, cause this this was written thousand years before it happened, man, you know, look at these pictures it said extremists are de dehumanizing each other, saying one expert, see, this like a promo, man. It's like a fire, a flyer for the big night, the big fight that's finna come up. And that's what you see. You see the far right versus the far left, man. You know, the Black Lives Matter demonstrations, demonstrators in Kenosha. And you see you got that dyke to the left, man. Because that's what they represent. It said Trump supporters, Trump supporters confront Black Lives Matter protest. See, this this like an all promo, man. And you see all these niggas, they got masks on. You know, we're at the end of America, man. It says slight, let's see, um, slightly more than half, 51%, won't generally agree on who is legitimately elected president of the United States. See, so you got more than half of the country is, is already, is, is um, they ain't going to agree who going to be a legitimately elected president, man. See, people, you you get to the point, you keep on doing the same trick, people going to catch on, man. You know? And these Americans are catching on. They they not, you know, you just got two two goddamn characters um, supposed, supposed to be the next, uh, supposed to be the face of the United States, the, the superpower of the planet Earth, man. The police of the Earth. And nobody's respecting the leader, man. Which we know that, you know, they just puppets. But they supposed to be the face of, uh you know, of the world, man. But, you know, it says 51% is not going to agree who going to be elected, man. So, guess what? At the end of the day, you know, matter of fact, I'm just going to continue on. It said, this is the single most frightening poll result I've ever been associated with. And, yeah, like I said earlier, um, with Obama, when they pulled a nigga card, you know, um, you know, this nigga, uh, 
you know, it was one point that they just refused it. You know, these different Republicans, you know, they were like, this, this nigga Obama, he's, you know, it was to the point they were like, yeah, this nigga's the Antichrist, whatever. But it was to a point they were like, well, he is our president. Well, now when it comes down to Trump, you know, not when it comes down to this right here, man. You know, they not finna take this L on both sides. Whoever win or whoever, whoever, nobody's not going to take no L this time, man. And that's what you see the narrative being set up. It's like a damn, a big fight that's finna happen. And they promoting it, man. You know, they add more fuel to the fire. It said, this is the most, this is the single most frightening poll result I've ever been associated with. Said Rich Thaw, president of Engages. One of the three firms, along with the sports and leisure research group, ROKK Solutions, that sponsors the survey, you've got people on the far left with guns, people on the far right with guns. See, and that's all I got to read, man. You know, because guess what? It's, it's going to be civil unrest here, you know, in America. It's throughout the planet Earth, but the main event is here in America, man. You know? That's what's coming, man. We are we just in the beginning stages. It's just like, you know, you had a different fighters. They come out. They got their theme music. You know, they tell you know East Side tell each, you know, you got the um the Harold. You know, he he giving out the stats. You know, and then it's gonna be a point where the bell gonna ring, man. And that's what's coming, man. You know, this is um this is, um second edge fifteen and four, um fourteen. Woe to the world. And them that dwell therein, see? And that's not you just literally, you because you in the world, the discretion is going to be onto you. No, that's the ones that's acclimated in this society, you know, that's subscribed to this system. Those are the, that's, that's what, a, that's what, who this discretion is going to go to, the ones that dwell therein, the one they hang they hat here in America, man. And that's why they find so much to, 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 uh, to stay here, man. That's why they, they don't want uh, Trump to win. That's why they don't want Biden win. Why? Because they they here they dwell in this world, you know. They want that they 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 you know what I mean. They want to bring back America how it was, man. Or they want to they want to uh, uh you know how the far right they got these certain ideas how they want America to be played out. And you got the far left uh have their ideas how they want America to be played out, man. So that's who the discretion is gonna come to, man. At the end of the day, you still want to be here in America. So that's who the discretion is going to, man. It says for this for the sword and their destruction draw up not. See, their destruction. And one people shall stand up and fight against another and swords in their hands. See? Then we just read that. You got guns on the left hand and you got guns on the right hand, man. You know? So this is you know, it's gonna be a civil war, man. It's not just gonna be a race war. You know, it's gonna be a race war, it's gonna be a class war, fool wars, you know. This is just one of the plays the Lord is going to send upon this place, man. You know, you know, you got not to mention the famine, you know, the other pestilences, pestilences. Because even when all these dead bodies start to um, stack up, that's going to cause other diseases, man. You know, so it's not just going to be the coronavirus. It's going to be diseases caused by just leaving dead bodies out in the streets, you know, or the newly created beasts, you know. So, man, all hell, the Lord's going to throw the kitchen sink at America, man. You know, it says, for, for there shall be sedition among men in invading one another, and they shall not regard their kings nor their princes in the course of their ashes shall stand in their power. See? And that's what you see now. Like I said, you got uh read the article a few days ago. You know, they tried to kidnap the governor of Michigan, man. They trying to they they you see, that's why I said the course of their essence shall stand in their power. They gonna take it upon themselves, you know, to so called make America great again, so to speak, man. Uh, how they think America should be ran, man. You know, but at the end of the day, this place is gonna be destroyed, man, and this system as a whole. And we coming to the we coming to a next phase of time, you know, a new era, which is the kingdom of heaven, man. And it just further proves that we in that time. So yeah, I can just hold up edify and give all praise and glory to Yahoo. By Shem Yahweh Shah, by Shem Rakako Dash. Double honors to the positive out of the great millstone, Shalom to the elect that sees the word in our true faith and sincerity. DTA, Abba, Abba.